What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total Ball. Let's play as the United States of America. And to pick up where we left off, um, the biggest thing was this enormous battle at the end to try and secure or try to not lose this army. Um, which we managed to do, so we're going to use Noel Compton. They can maintain the siege while Ernest Southerns withdraws. Ronald Babington, who still needs to reinforce themselves, can push forward. More orders. God, we can't have two generals with identical units. Sir. Sir. Waiting for your there we go. Okay, recruit a new general. Let's start. Really, yeah, really, this territory should just be about churning out um, infantry. I suppose it does need to kind of churn out everything. Yes, sir. Okay, so Mr. Sloper, you can yes. get out of Brussels. At the ready. You need to reinforce with... A unit of artillery, a unit of foot artillery, a unit of heavy horse howitzers, and a unit of infantry, I suspect. Get this, rebuild the settlement. Good. So they're bringing up more troops, but that does mean that this army is better positioned. Push up towards the towards Paris. We've got more religious agents. Can you men join William Charlton? Where do I deploy you? Pretty sure. Hmm. think first of all we're going to repair Liverpool this army is going to commit they might deploy to Antwerp just to add a bit of extra bulk let's bring you around Brussels can't recruit anything yet You have one slot left. You're recruiting your sharpshooters. Great. Then get right on recruiting the next army. Then up here in Scotland. You can throw your infantry into the mix. Plus another load of infantry. And his son is bloody minus one morale. He did a great victory. I mean, yeah, we definitely want to kill you. Okay, let's lead my carronade frigate back around. We'll just try raid some more of their cities. Okay, you men just just auto resolve this that shouldn't be needed to actually fight that there we go we captured their ship so that army is gone let's clear out this port hello our nation rules the sea blah 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 blah, blah. And then we want to go get you and after this, we want to put you in for repairs, really. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. Got them all in auto resolves. Nice. Wait, anchor. Can you men replenish? Not getting any trade, but that's okay. You don't have walls yet. Although that's a lot of cavalry, we can deal with that easily enough. OK, 
Okay, let's move you out. Put you guys into Calcutta. Make ready. Troops forward. Okay, let's build build a fort on the high ground to the west. My eyes are yours. We have a general to the south. We don't have to worry about them. Although we could just just try and assassinate them anyway. Twenty six percent. Bang! Got him. Excellent. No one will know. Okay, first of all, before we do any of that, let's do do some building. Well really we need to go. We don't need to go on the offensive as such. We just need to move these troops around into a position ready where we can actually do something. Everything's upgraded, or being upgraded in Amsterdam. Let's keep the... Oops, not you. We need to keep the infrastructure upgrades growing to match our insatiable desire to, uh, <laughs> to grow our army. Of good port upgrades. Ready, waiting orders. Yes, yeah, Sweden. We need to get you get this force committed somehow. Humble soldier. Forward. Any further orders? Yes, For crown and dragoons. That means you're you're okay. Okay, let's take. This fleet under Andrew Dare. Game over here. You're not going to try and intercept us. Let's just land you off the coast here. Hold over in the Americas. Ready for orders. At the ready. Ready for orders. You are one unit away. Men forward. Ready and awaiting orders. Onward. That's two new ready. armies. Ready Excellent. Sir. Make ready. Excellent. We need to add some reinforcements to India. Marlon Rose. Get over there. Isla Randolph. Your navy's not yet full. It's full enough. Although I could probably pinch. The second rate Neptune. Join up. Get over there. Okay, so you've got one unit of elite infantry. To be honest, we can't really recruit much more elite infantry. So some of our US armies are going to start to look quite boring. Xavier Clapperton. Xavier. Anything more? You need one unit of infantry that's on the way. Sir. Okay, let's maybe regular regiment light. How do volunteer infantry compare to militia? Can't even recruit militia anymore. There they are. Well, they're a 
lot better than militia. Yeah, let's get some US volunteers. We need to call up volunteers to boost our ranks. Okay, that's your recruitment done. Lisbon. Seven slot. Okay, I think really all you all you need, quote unquote. It's five units of regular infantry. So you've got seven spaces, seven units. Sweet. Okay, in Tangier. Let's get, probably better off just getting, um, Zagreb just to start churning out their own reinforcements. Could probably... Well, that's okay. That's that army pushed away. Arnold Richter. Really, we need you to get some more... We need you to get your defences. So really, any, any sort of delay we can put in into... Them attacking Zagreb is good. Everyone's moved, everyone's ready. Right, so the one thing we do need to do, hop over to India, take this army under Nathaniel Green, and attack Barat Jera, who previously did not expect to command his army, but now is. Let's take them to book, destroy them, and then... So yeah, that'll, that'll secure Bengal just a little bit. We're starting to get a bit overwhelmed, so those two extra uh, armies from the US will be incredibly useful. They can help us deal with other Maratha armies that are in the field, plus we could potentially um, land elsewhere. Very hilly ground. Bugged artillery, which is always super... Okay, let's group our regular line together. I'm going to put my marines and grenadiers on the right flank to secure the high ground. Give them skirmishes out wide. Put all my cavalry out wide with my bowmen. Okay, I want the artillery to get up to about here. push if I can get my artillery up on this high ground they can open up really nicely against the entire enemy front she might want to try and deal with that next unit of artillery You can try your luck if you like, cavalry. Can you fire shrapnel shot at this range? Yes, you can. Okay, right, let's take two units. With my elites, run them here. Skirmishes. Run here. Because that cavalry does fancy their chances. Constantial Light Dragoons, you have a volley as well. Up there, shattered. More Lancers coming in. Oh, 
artillery retarget. Oh no, wrong button. Push my infantry up on the left. There you go, those lancers can't really push my skirmisher line because they'll be <laughs> exposed all the way through. Excellent, this infantry can push away the pikemen. They're going to get slaughtered. Um, Bajir lances have been shattered. Don't worry about their grenadiers. Drop some quick climb in the centre. Danger close quick line right in the middle of the block. Dervishes are here. Shrapnel shots going off. Load and fire, my friends. Dervishes are made into combat, but they're going to get hit in the flank by the 15 foot guards. Get my regiment of horse around the flank, get my Pindari horsemen up here. Pivot this flank around. 11th Regiment is holding. Artillery. Shrapnel shot the Pindari Horseman at range. White infantry get up to this high ground rapidly and secure it. General Nathaniel Green, try and blitz your way through this mess. I should just send the one unit to chase them down, really. the dervishes let's go after enemy infantry we're not really worried about the artillery because it appears to be broken get my cavalry out into the field kill the enemy general Engage the round shot. You have to engage the Pindari horsemen with the round shot. Run past the stakes. Just kill the dervishes. Kill a handful more of them. We're gonna kill a few more of them now just so they shatter. Just 
Okay, fall back. The enemy is forming square. Switch to round shot. Start to engage. Okay, we've killed this unit. Send my general to go get the pikemen. Okay, artillery. Shrapnel shot the Bajir infantry. Excellent, although you are running away from the where I want you to be. Where's my general? Get those uh, pikemen. Let's both focus you on the weak unit of dervishes first, just because they've spread out a bit. Very nice of them though, we were very much at risk of not being able to kill you all. So you can chase down the 14 dervishes. speed up time because that other unit's not going to be here long. Hope you both try to kill the dervishes or you're not going to get them. Artillery, peace fire. How's my general doing? Handful more pikemen to kill. Okay, you've got them. Go get him. Nice. Just keep killing. You're not going to get them all, sadly, but you are going to do a huge amount of damage to them. Even more if they actually decide to not run away towards the edge of the map, although you may well do it. There's a couple of guys over here. Oh no, we got him. Nice. Okay. Come on, but nah. <laughs> they just got away over in the corner. Still, good win. Lots of kills. Immediately. And then we'll just auto resolve, kill them in the corner. That's the entire army destroyed. Excellent. Impossible. So we've not got any money at all. <laughs> oh, oh well. Lots of trades gained, trade routes are raided. Oh yeah, we haven't actually put you to work yet. Bang. Ah. Oh. oh well. Couple of units coming up. This could get a bit dicey in, in the open field, um, but if we win one action, they will um, give us. We'll have plenty of time to build the fort. <laughs> Got a <laughs> not Spanish exploring officer, just kind of chilling, doing their own thing. Okay, you're going to reinforce. Then you're going to go after a couple of these fleets. Like it could, it could be worth capturing three of these. Third, second carronade frigate.
Okay, let's hit and turn. Let everything tick on one turn. See how the AI responds to what we just did. That's why Spain build an army in the Caribbean and come help us in either Europe or in India. One of the two. Either's fine. I mean, yeah, they're bring, pulling out troops from northern Italy. They are panicking. They may crush our position here. We don't want to intercept. We don't want to intercept. We probably want to intercept that because this army is knackered, as is the reinforcing one. We will be able to blow them all the way back to Paris. And at that point, ultimately, our position in the Balkans would have served its purpose and diverted enough enemy attention away from our main front line. It should have been better supported. Um, yeah, North African armies, they're just not, not that great. If it was a full um, Western army, that would have been super, but... Alas. Okay, let's drop all my foot artillery on as a grand battery up here. Although, let's make sure we separate out the 24 pounders from the horse guard artillery. Everybody else. Push forward and obliterate the enemy. This is a fresh army, unbloodied. Let's keep my elites on the right. Good. Okay, the reinforcements are coming in from a good direction. Light cavalry sharpshooters to run up my curiosity to walk. See, immediately just done a just okay, right. Fire round shot with the howitzers. We're not going to need quick line for killing efficiency, we just want massed artillery effects. Where's my fireworks? There we go. They're all grouped together, which is quite nice. Excellent. Focus, they are focusing on my marines. Camel's bodyguard is advancing up. The Lancer guard is advancing up. Slow military open fire as, as they like, really. Don't care if the Lancer Guards get a charge off. If they don't hurry up, they're going to get obliterated anyway. This infantry is going to be engaged. The General's bodyguard is bumped into my front line. Let them fire a volley, then form square. Elites advance, skirmishes, toggle light infantry behaviour, get into the woods. Sharpshooters just run past. Curacier have been defeated. Killed the enemy general. Switch artillery targets. of horse go for the fry core you might get backed up by the enemy infantry by the enemy cavalry unit running in you just knock out those lancer guards 
a <laughs> good volley into the back of the Lancer Guards here. Engage the Provincial Cav. Sensor here is just getting obliterated. So is that is that the proper general in here we killed? Oh, there he is. Well, there's one of them anyway. Throw you into the provincial curve. Rockets inbound. Excellent. Let's pick off the Marines on the flank. That might be the General of the Reinforcing Army, really. We should still try to get them. The Regiment of Horse is in... Eh, not in huge trouble. Horse Grenadier Guards, they're down to a handful. Militia have returned, the garrison guards are still on the way out. Okay, let's split the formation. You men, you can all continue engaging the enemy marines. The cavalry on the left is broken. It's not unsurprising really. So these marines are getting picked off by the sharpshooters hey my cavalry's back chase down the marines and kill them up towards their position retarget the guns actually get my get my cavalry to come back up I mean, they're just being shot to hell and back retarget my howitzers just to bombard their line Rockets give them an attack ground order to make them move forward. Kill the line infantry, you kill the marines. Excellent. You kill the regiment of foot because they're running right past you. Thirty-four of them. You probably won't get them before they route though. Engineers are placing stakes. Storm up to the next terrain feature. We're going to really bottom them up. Kill the last of the 26th regiment. Also help Grassier attack the 37th. 
We're advancing up into point blank range. Okay, the rockets have got a reasonable field of fire now. Engineers want to engage my cavalry. Get away. Engage, engage. Rockets in, danger close rockets, that's for sure, and lots of this infantry. <laughs> Point blank range. Hundred and third of wavering. These cavalry want to try snipe some of these elite units. You go for the furthest one, you go for the closest one. Close to the edge of the map. And close to those stakes. No, you don't. Too late, you've already run into them. How about it? Although well, you want to kill the 11th first. Artillery, all of you ceasefire. We're going to continue. There are stakes. Get the general involved. them sorry you're going after you're both going after this unit because the other one's going to definitely escape yep 91st regiment of foot slaughtered took a lot more damage than we needed to have but that's okay we've got this army bloodied that's the garrison at paris pushed back um, do I want to intercept? No, I do not. It's super nice of them to... Ooh, you're going to try and flank our attack on Cologne. Oh, I'm going to fight you manually. I'm not going to auto-resolve everybody. <laughs> Let them all get attrited from this one engagement. No, sir, not going to happen. Let's get on it. All my artillery deploy. Well, I want to make sure my sharpshooters are out of the way. He's fired the artillery now. They formed a little square. 
multiple squares. But they're not that's not gonna be enough to hold us. Square, they're going down fast. In comes my general. There we go. Enemy Curiosier have joined the action, but let's just speed this up. I'm sure who's firing. We do want to continue just to make sure that the these units are gone. Although it's just the Curiosier, and they are gone. Nice. Sweet. <laughs> mm, they're raiding Malmo. That's okay. See, Prussia's not joining the war like a terrible ally. Don't worry, they'll pay for this. Mm, Naples is still a threat. Now the Marathas. Oh, they are attacking us immediately. Great, let's do this. Anu Astana. They got lots of cavalry, so we sh just have to resist their cavalry charge, push them back. Um, we've got two infantry, or line infantry units in reserve, so we can merge and reinforce pretty rapidly. And then we've got two fresh units coming in next turn. So that's even better. Right. I mean, in theory, the town's... Mm. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I don't mind having an anchor against... You know, an anchor against the edge of the town. Really, what I want is a... Solid core of five units like this to with trenches and then all of these units to deploy in front with stakes and my melee infantry can hold in reserve in case they try push through the town artillery just deploy Yikes, a lot of their troops are actually on the flank. Okay, I want my new guys over here. Okay, let's start to provoke some charges. probably want my native infantry in reserve behind my actual line. Channel shots booming. Oh, loads of kills in this war. Actually, yeah, keep my quick line firing on the right flank. Let my foot artillery just tear these guys up in front of us. They are going to experience a lot of pain. 
a lot of stakes ahead of us as well so if they do or when they charge in rather at least when they charge in head on by these units they're just gonna sit here so many dead cavalrymen yeah we have no artillery I think you found a gap let's see what the artillery thinks about it No, you haven't found a gap. So is the 54th Tumen Polygar. Because you've got one guy who ran towards the square. over here skirmishers are just ripping the right flank open they're trying to get a charge on us but it's not happening okay artillery all of you engage that unit of slidar lancers These squares are going to hold off the cavalry quite nicely. Let's get my crossier over toward the middle. My native troops are pushing in. The dervishes won't like the following attack. Excellent, they've been dealt with. Artillery engage. That unit of Bajir lancers. of state deaths for you guys put you guys up on the high ground let's get the tribal auxiliary up on this high ground as well okay artillery halt fire Push on into the Polygar. Heavy cavalry, but now they're bogged down and isolated. The camel nomads still being picked off. Excellent. All my artillery, round shot, engage the general bodyguard. Oh, it says round shot, engage the general bodyguard. Teach them what it means to wage war against us. Form line. Don't engage, use our superior firepower we've lost six men that's three elephants camel mercenaries are being fired upon by my squares 87th wolf they will be in range of the 87th soon oh they've they're shattered Excellent. Commit. Artillery. 
cease fire. Let's send one cavalry unit to chase after the camels because my the, you know um, horses are faster than camels. Focus on the dervishes. You hit the light infantry. You all focus on the light infantry. Hindu warriors are on the way out. Yeah, good. Your fire at will off. They are going to retreat, but we've got a couple of them. But still, that was a real nice defence. A very unbalanced army for the AI there, so that really didn't help them. Mounted Tribe Auxiliary MVP. They killed 170 men and gained, didn't get any increase in any experience levels. Back you go. And they bring up more reinforcements. Oh, our Carronade Frigate's about to get attacked. Let's see if we can withdraw to lure them away. No, we won't lure them away there. They captured us. They captured our ship, but they didn't take into their fleet. Um, don't intercept. Let's get, have an opportunity to um, reinforce first. You can raid as much as you like, Marathas. It's not going to help you. Now it's the Ottoman in turn phase. I'm going to chop the recording here and bring you guys back in a second. See you in a second, everyone. There we go. And there goes the end of the Ottomans' end turn phase. So right now, is Russia... Is I don't know if Russia's actually at war with anybody. It's a bit tricky. Um, it's quite tempting to betray Spain and capture Madrid, because then that's just... It's a future enemy we don't have to deal with anymore. Then we'll have to mop up their territories in the, the Americas, because they aren't actually... They're not helping us right now. So maybe that army in Lisbon, that might be what they do. Just be sat there, ready to initiate Order 66 and kill our allies that's really important your allies will turn on you sooner or later they'll just turn on you and there's nothing you can do about it although now russia's starting to do things in the fog of war but yeah i'm not sure i'm not sure who they're at war with or if they are at war either way many 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 dead enemies are to be found in all parts of the world. Our attacks, is, yeah, our attacks in the Balkans are a bit um, dicey. If the enemy can avoid us or ignore engaging us until our defenses are ready around the city itself, then that'll be really good because then we can really make some progress in whittling down their numbers. And we may not necessarily, we won't come out of it unscathed. But we will do such damage to them that they can't send any... They won't be able to send as many troops uh, west. Instead, they'll have to head south. At least that's the... That's the dream. But yeah, seems like Russia is interested in slowing this all down. So, good for them. <laughs> yeah, Russia doesn't have the same... Um, get out of jail free card that the Ottomans have. I can explain the Ottoman in terms of way it being Istanbul problems, but Russia not quite so much. They've just got lots of stuff to move around. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to chop it again. So see you in a second, everyone. <laughs> so, interestingly, Russia wants to try and swap Komi for Astrakhan. And they want me to give them platoon firing. No. <laughs> you gave us, Komi. You deal with it. 
I'm not going to let you get away so easily, especially because Astrakhan, I've already got a border, two borders with the Ottoman Empire, so I don't really need that right now. But yeah, once again, chopper recording. See ya. And then we're off again, although nothing really happened that happened uh, much for us. Come on, let me at him. Let me at him. Right. Raid. Enemy raid, enemy raid. Fleet destroyed. Fleet arrives. First of our armies from America is here. Land them at Puri. They can attack Arundam Charan. Push them south. This force here. Let's combine you guys. Let's combine you, you. Make room for a company line infantry. Excellent. But before we do that, let's take our agent here who's just landed in country. Your first mission, 007. If you accept it, yes. Don't worry about raids. We've got a new rake. You've already well, you've already done your assassination this turn. Okay. Keep on dropping those sweet, sweet upgrades. Daniel Green, hold this high ground to the east. You require reinforcements. We might be able to create... No, nearly. Pull one weak infantry unit back, swap them for a company infantry. Excellent. Okay, you can start to recruit something other than infantry now. Okay, so Trincomalee. Your army is done. Heath Cooper. <gasps> Our cot is exposed. Take the city. So you can demand the surrender. Because there's nobody here. Get rid of the university that's kind of bugged. We want to keep hold of Madras. Pleasure Gardens, Cotton Weaver. We can keep these for now. I'm not going to upgrade them. Reykjavik is upgraded. Let's get new ports for Reykjavik. Growing at 66 gold a turn. Not bad. Upgrade Mexico's military production. Okay, apart from that... Sharpshooters are ready. Deploy Ian Brent. I mean, you can head towards Paris, put them under threat. We're going to send a native African unit to Brest to push their fleet out. We're just going to Auto resolve that. We are victorious. Lost five ships in that engagement. Orders, Captain. Can't reinforce it yet. Yes, Your orders. Excellent. You can go on and deal with Felix Frey. Yeah, I think we are at the point where we need to start fighting some battles. So Riley Grinds, you did super well. Push up and raid ready Munster. Ernest Southerns is still replenishing after his miracle victory. Settlement under siege. 
Ludwig is on so, his way. Move you here to shield the forces attacking Cologne. You're going to go to the bridge to hold it. Humphrey Sloper, you're, in f you're, you're recruiting fresh units. William Charlton. I mean, you can put Paris under siege. You're going to secure the Star Fort. Don't worry about this army. Um, if they advance to raid Antwerp, we'll trick them into a, into a river battle. I mean, you can also get Paris. Right now, I think Austria in the West is a bit knackered. I think, to be honest, it's probably the smart thing to do. It's Take Murphy Cecil, take Felix Frey. Let's see how depleted his army is. Very depleted. Um, but we're going to fight it manually. Actually, I may as well fight it manually this turn, this episode. Then we'll fight the Battle of Paris next episode. That seems like a good way to do it to me. Then we need to send one army south to try and secure the Italian border. Because their army is so badly depleted it's not going to be a super clever battle. Just select a bunch of our infantry. I would rather switch the native African infantry to uh, European infantry because it is just better not being able to form square is a big deal it's a big deal almost everywhere as a guard unit a garrison unit it's probably superb because it's like it's a lot cheaper than line infantry is and it's still pretty good at firing off the walls and annihilating everybody but on the actual battlefield it's not quite what you want we're not going to worry about chasing enemy, enemy the enemies down this turn. Although we may have to um, advance on them because they will have trap or sharp. Well, they are likely to have trap or sharp. So let's use our. Artillery to target the enemy infantry behind the lines. Same with the howitzers, just drop shells onto them. I don't know why they're. So these units just run them right up to the front. charge it's the general's bodyguard he wants to charge the 148th maybe either way he's about to get cut down either directly or in the crossfire second rank fire got a bunch of them when they're trying to shoot while well, we're trying to kill the enemy infantry well I suppose we better Take them out, I suppose. Kill the enemy general. enemy infantry that's left now. With the enemy general that's left now I should say. Ceasefire. Speed up time. Well watch out for the nope. Oh yeah 
are the uh, booby traps by that position. Fair enough. Oh, it actually made them real. Fair enough. Kill the engineers specifically. They are elite units. The general, my generals, maybe around here somewhere. Don't have to worry about them. The goons. Kill the engineers. We're not going to get the line infantry guards. Enemy reinforcements. Don't need them. This was just a sideshow, the main event. So these guys have spread out quite nicely, so they might escape. Yeah, they, yeah they're going to do pretty well. They're going to get away. Dang, nabbit. Still, like I said, not the main event. Let's go get that city. Roger Leverett, attack the city of Paris. Actually, before we do that, just break. Let's take, get the a unit, get a, <laughs> break the university so we don't have to deal with the, <laughs> the resistance to occupation or the um, clamor for reform right off the bat. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the Siege of Paris. Cheers, everyone.